Well, she is not even three months old, but baby Molly has spent more time in the hospital than most of us could imagine. She was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia Christmas Eve, and her parents have been at her side of BC Children's Hospital every step of the way. Last week, we told you how Molly's family got some very good news, that she is now in clinical remission, but her fight has only just begun. A News reporter Louise Hartland traveled to Vancouver to sit down and talk to Molly's dad, and she joins us now with that story. Hudson, Dave Campbell says Molly is staying strong, and her doctors say she's responding to chemotherapy treat treatment better than they had ever hoped. From the outside looking in, the Campbell family is like any other. But two blocks away from this park at BC Children's Hospital is a little girl, their sister and daughter, in the fight of her life. We were really excited when we reached a certain stage and, uh, and Molly got into what we call clinical remission. Um, and then the next day was smack dab into chemo. They brought out a bag of yellow fluid that was like the same size as Molly, basically, and that has to go into her. For almost two months, Dave Campbell and his wife Rebecca have been by Molly's bedside, but something was missing. You're never 100% here if, if there's a part of you back there in Victoria, right? So to have them here just makes you whole. Hi, hey, guys. We're just talking. Since Molly's diagnosis on Christmas Eve, the couple's four other children have stayed in Victoria with their grandparents. Dave says that had to change. To have them all here together just makes all the difference in the world. Twins Owen and Emma started at their new school in Vancouver Monday. The younger girls will go to the hospital with Dave every day. Dave says the family was able to make the move because of the generosity of people they don't even know. I always knew that it was a great community and, and the people there are amazing. But um, you just don't know how amazing and, and how much they stepped up to help us. The latest outpouring of support comes from a charity basketball game tomorrow night between Pacific Christian Secondary School and the Saanich Police Department. Rebecca Campbell, the mother of baby Molly, was one of our graduates. And here at PCS, not only did she graduate from our school, but she played on our senior girls basketball team. And so for us to be able to have our senior boys and senior girls playing the Saanich police officers, um, it seemed like a, a, a great fit for us. After we beat this, it's going to be, like my wife said, going to be tons of money left over, so we're going to be able to do lots of, lots of really fun stuff. Stuff that will likely come in the form of a large donation to BC Children's Hospital, or even new thermometers for babies in the intensive care unit. All to give back to a community who has taken a leap of faith and given this family so much. So far, more than $210,000 has been raised for Molly and the Campbell family. Tip-off for the charity basketball game at PCS tomorrow is at 7 p.m. Admission is $2 and donations will be collected throughout the night. There are also some auctions, auction items up for grabs. And a shout-out tonight to Ms. Mitchell's class and Cordoba Bay Elementary School who raised $2,900 in a coin drive for Molly. Hudson. All right, good for them. Thank you. Louise Harland reporting.